to go for Chinese food. It is a good night to go for Chinese food. Okay, that's far better. That is far better indeed. I didn't have my liner on underneath the jacket. Uh, the jacket comes with a liner, but I have another liner from another coat that I wear as well in the winter. And it's still warm enough that I can go without my bright orange big suit, which is hard to get in and out of. But it's cold enough that I don't want to have air just whipping through me. Oh, that's an interesting light bar on the bottom of that. Whatever that is. I guess that looks like a Jeep Patriot or Liberty or something. Can't really tell in the dark. Lots of geese. Hello, geese. Oh. Some other intrepid sort. On a slightly bigger bike. I am going to get Chinese food. I have mentioned this before, but Chinese is my favorite kind of cuisine. Any kind of Asian food works well for me. I enjoy it very much. I like all sorts of ethnic cuisines, but Chinese is probably my favorite. A couple of things with riding in this weather. You really have to watch because people aren't watching for you. So the more visible you can be, the more attention you can attract to yourself as a rider, the better off you are because you might have some cheese nozzle like the guy behind me just running up fast and getting a little close. I don't get too close to this guy, sorry. Makes me nervous. Since I'm talking and vlogging and stuff, I may as well talk about something near and dear to my heart. One of the things that has... I grew up in a culture of being polite and... What in the world? Okay, well, this is... That was a risky maneuver. Anyway, I grew up in a culture of respect and politeness. I was raised to respect all people regardless of any of the various criteria that one might come up with. Part of that respect was you didn't cuss in front of other people. You especially didn't cuss in front of a woman. You especially didn't cuss in front of my mom because you you'd, you'd hear about it and you'd feel it. Anyway, you treated people well and expected to be treated well in return. In the last many years, and it's been devolving and become far worse over time, people have become far more coarse openly as a society. More jokes about sex and more openness about it. And jokes that when I was a kid you kind of said behind your hand and, you know, didn't say too loud. It's all open. Uh, I guess it was probably that way in some parts of society, even when I was a kid, but the culture that I grew up in, you didn't do that. Constant using of profanity and cuss words and so on, you again, didn't do that. I think I heard my dad use what one would call a cuss word once. He was very careful of that kind of thing. And I'd never heard my mother use anything other than what are colloquially called Christian cuss words, which... <laughs> don't amount to much. And people were treated with respect. Now, you might have a couple of words when they were no longer present, if you were really annoyed with them. But I think that there are contributing factors. I think that the big contributing factor is the, the very thing over which I'm speaking to you folks today, the internet. It's a huge contributing factor. People have become much more uninhibited about the things that they say and the way that they say them. People are much less inhibited about being rude to others because of the anonymity that comes with the internet. And it's kind of spilled out into non-anonymous situations. Time to get my foods. Thank you kindly. It's just a random Muppet, but probably uh, based on that, yeah. I get a lot of kids who say, hi Elmo! How you doing, buddy? All right, cool. All right, thank you kindly. Oh, sure. I have a bunch at home, but we're good. Thank you. I, I think it's important to be polite and kind to others, and I think that that is something that we have gotten away from. We have a very me-first mentality in our culture, and it's, it's all about how I feel and what I want and less thinking about the other person. One of the major tenets of my faith is to think of others as better than myself. It's hard to do. I don't want to do that. Not naturally. It's a fight. It's one of those things that is the way I should be, but don't always end up in practice. I just find myself more and more 
at odds with the popular culture because I'm not by nature an angry, unkind person. And people look at someone who is kind and who is gentle and doesn't want to fight and argue about everything. There is a segment of culture that looks at that as weakness. Not at all. Some of the strongest people in the world are gentle and kind. I think it takes a lot more, especially as a guy, to be an actual gentleman than it does just to be a jerk. And unfortunately, our society idolizes the jerks. Somebody commented on one or another forum, and I've had this comment a few times before, that I'm out to get footage of bad stuff that happens so that I can get views on my channel or whatever. Okay, that couldn't be further from the truth. The reason I'm out riding is because I enjoy to ride, and I'm going to talk to myself anyway, so I may as well talk to the microphone, which I did reposition because I found that it had gotten somehow stuffed up in the top of the helmet, and so it wasn't picking anything up. So that's fixed. I would rather just, you know, talk about stuff that's important to me and have a good time. Not every once in a while, I, there's something that happens, and I don't go out of my way to get footage of things because I don't ride for fun. I, this is not a toy to me. This is a tool. My motorbikes are about getting to places I need to go. Now, every once in a while, I'll take a joy ride, sure, but most of my riding is to and from work, to and from the store, to and from fishing, whatever it may be. I don't generally just joy ride around. There's this unfortunate reality of American motorcycling that most of it is done as a pleasure activity and very few people ride motorcycles as their daily... Okay, that guy didn't even slow down for the yield, but whatever. No harm done, I saw him and didn't wreck, so you can tell it's cold. Even with this machine, the grip is not fantastic. <laughs> I'm distracted by a Jeep with badly aimed headlights behind me. One's looking down, one's looking up. Looks like a cross-eyed monster. It's hilarious. You know, my challenge to myself is to be friendly and to be outgoing and to be kind and just try to bring joy to other people. I think there's something to be said for bringing joy to people and making people laugh and smile. If I have done that, I have done well. One of the reasons why I wear the funny helmet covers and bright orange. Well, the bright orange is just keep warm and it'd be visible. The funny helmet covers are there to make people laugh. And they do. It brings joy to other people and that's a good thing. I, I feel for myself that my goal in life is to bring joy to others and to make other people's lives just a little bit less harsh. It saddens me that there are people who can't abide that. They want conflict and dislike people who don't. I hope that I maintain a cogent train of thought on that. I wish you all the most blessed of December seasons as we get on towards the Yuletide. Oh, it's chilly out here. <laughs> but may you all be safe, be well, and be blessed. I appreciate all my watchers. Scootin' fool out.